Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the first weekly writing vlog for Camp NaNoWriMo, April 2020. Today is currently day one of Camp NaNoWriMo. It is April 1st. I am ready to go. First, if you don't know what I'm working on, I'm working on draft four of Monsters and Imaginary Friends. I am so excited about this. I am just ready to get back into the story. I've been preparing a lot. Well, not a lot, actually, but I'm prepared. What I did last week is I went through the Save the Cat Beat Sheet and I put my novel as it currently is into the beat sheet just to make sure that every beat was hit and just to make sure that things were, were flowing properly. I didn't actually need to make any changes to the overall outline or anything like that, but it just kind of helped me see it just to know exactly what scenes to focus on and just to make sure that things were set up properly and stuff like that. So I'm pretty happy with that and I decided to handwrite it because for some reason I've been trying to do this for like three weeks and it just was not working. I just couldn't get into the mindset and I was typing it every time and I decided I need to go back to just pencil and paper and go from there and that definitely worked. So advice for anybody, if for some reason something isn't working or you can't get into the right mindset, try switching something up. So if you usually write, try typing it or dictation or whatever you don't do just to see if that kind of just gets things flowing again because it definitely worked for me. I know that in my Camp NaNoWriMo announcement video I said that I was going to do a chapter goal instead of a word count goal and it was the first time I was ever planning to do a goal that wasn't word count and then I realized that with the new website you actually can only do word count goals. I think that they are planning on changing it because when you go to your goal words is an option but there's a drop down list there just isn't any other options so I'm sure that it's just a feature they haven't implemented yet or something like that. So what I decided to do instead is my current draft, draft three, is 20 chapters. So what I'm going to do as I'm revising the chapters and rewriting them, I'm just going to say that my goal is 20,000 words and every chapter I'm just going to say it's a thousand words. It's not really, but it's just an easy way to do it. So that way if I'm at 5,000 words, I know that I did five chapters. And that way I can do like 500 words if I do only half a chapter. So I thought that probably makes the most sense and it's the closest I can get. It kind of makes me feel a little silly because I'm lying about the word count, but it's the best I can do and I just have to accept it. So last night at like 3 a.m. I ended up doing half of chapter one just to kind of get a little bit started. I was a little bit tired though, so I didn't want to do a whole first chapter, but there are two big scenes in my first chapter. So I decided to do the first scene and go through that and that one is the most polished anyways because I have troubles with openings so I just kind of over revised that one in previous drafts so it's more polished so I thought that that'll be a good starting point so I did half a chapter so my NaNoWriMo word count says I'm at 500 words but now I'm going to get a little bit more done I'd like to finish chapter one and then I'll check in so I'll talk to you in a minute. Hello again! I actually ended up doing more than I expected which is always good news I ended up doing a chapter and a half, so now I'm at the end of chapter two. I realized that there was a lot of things between chapter one and two that could be either split up or combined, and there was one scene from chapter two that would have made more sense merged with a scene from chapter one and a conversation that needed to happen in chapter two, so there was just a lot of overlap between the two chapters. So I decided, while I'm still in the mindset of the opening, might as well just get them both done at the same time. And I'm really happy with how they turned out. I think it flows a lot better. I think it makes a lot more sense. And I think that it kind of sets things up a little bit better. And I also realized that there's a couple things that didn't quite make sense considering something that happens at the end because it was a change that I made kind of later on and I just forgot to change something that was mentioned in the first chapter. So I really like when we get to this stage of revisions because it's a lot of smaller things for the most part. Ripley because it's a lot of smaller things for the most part so it's just more satisfying because I can see it looking so much better. I find the first round of revisions is a little bit discouraging because what you're reading is usually a lot of garbage <laughs> but this I'm reading something that's been in its third draft so it's so much better and it's not as discouraging to read if that makes sense. I don't know if anybody else feels that way but with every draft of revisions, I'm enjoying it more and more. But yeah, I'm going to take a break now. I'm going to do some reading because this is also The Owls. I'm going to try not to play Animal Crossing until I've written and read every day. 
we'll see. But that is all for today, so I will check in tomorrow. Spock is getting extra treats right now because she just went through a terrible, terrible experience. I had to cut her nails, which I have to do every month, but my gosh, does she ever hate it. Look at how angry she is. Hello again, welcome to April 2nd, day two of Camp NaNoWriMo. I sat down to start writing like half an hour ago and then Spock jumped on my lap and then I realized that her nails were getting kind of long because she has extra toes so her nails I need to cut them more often than I have to cut the other cat's nails and she hates it so freaking much she yowls and hisses and she just gets so so mad so that took about half an hour because she does not cooperate. So now I am finally sitting down to write. I didn't watch the AuthorTube write-in last night with Natalia Lee, Mandy Lynn, and Brooke Passmore. I don't know why, I just kind of completely lost track of time and then missed it. But I'm going to be watching the replay now and getting some writing done. I was thinking about my story last night and I think I'm getting ahead of myself, but I think that I need to really lengthen up the second half of the story. I feel like there's a lot of good buildup to the midpoint and I like a lot of the stuff that happens before that. But after that, I feel like I just need a little bit more substance to it, a little more meat on the bones. And I know that I'm not there yet. I'm starting chapter three today, but it's just something that I've been wondering about. So yeah, I'm gonna be working on chapter three, but I'm gonna be thinking of the later chapters and kind of deciding how that goes but then i also realized and by also realized i mean just the second realized that if i'm beefing up the second half of it i'm probably going to be adding a lot more so it's probably going to be more chapters i was planning on kind of pacing myself because i only have 20 chapters that i want to do and there's 30 days in april so i thought that that would be fine but if i'm going to be adding content if that's going to be the case i should try to do a chapter every day and then that way if it ends up being more than i have extra wiggle room and if it doesn't end up being more then I'm just finished 10 days early and obviously room for me to fall off the bandwagon a couple days but yeah that's what I'm thinking so I'm just gonna start chapter three now and I will check in in a little bit and I'm back that went really well I finished my third chapter I feel like my first act though is a lot shorter than it should be like, I know that everything's guidelines and stuff. It just feels like it's proportionately pretty short, but I feel like I cover everything that I need to. And the only extra thing that I would be adding would be not necessarily filler, but things that aren't needed, like extra description just for the sake of bulking it up. So I think that I'm gonna leave it as it is, because at first I wanted to, to bulk it up, especially where I'm probably gonna be bulking up my second and third act. The first one is gonna seem even shorter, but I don't know, I think that this story just happens to have a shorter act one, and I think that's okay. But yeah, I am really happy with it. I kind of want to keep going, but I also kind of want to get up and stretch a little bit. So maybe I'll get up and make lunch or make breakfast or something, and then maybe I'll do another chapter, or maybe I'll do something else, or maybe I'll start reading because I have my owls too. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. If I write more, I'll check in and let you know, but if not, I will check in tomorrow. Hello again, welcome to Friday, day three of Camp NaNoWriMo. I just got out of the shower, so my hair is at that weird stage of drying and I'm still in my pajama shirt, but I just wanted to write real quick. I'm gonna be writing earlier than I usually do. I usually write like evening-ish is when I prefer to write, but I'm just writing earlier than I usually do because I'm going over to my parents' house in a couple hours. I'm just gonna address it real quick because I know people are gonna wonder with the whole quarantine thing. So yes, my province is in a state of emergency, but I don't have a car. So when I get groceries, my parents are the ones that bring me and we're gonna be getting groceries, like heavy things like potatoes and things that I can't get myself and things that are going to carry me through hopefully for a while now. So since I'm going to be with them in a car in close quarters anyways, we might as well go over to their house for a little bit because they're going to be making me supper because my mom made a shepherd's pie, which is my favorite. My mom cooks when she's stressed, so she has a lot of food. So she's going to be giving me some food from her house and then we're going to go get some groceries. So we're really just killing two birds with one stone. So instead of me making like 
10 trips to the grocery store back and forth carrying everything and you know 10 extra trips out of the house and into the stores and everything we're just gonna take one trip with my parents and be done with it so yeah just wanted to address that real quick before people panic it's okay but anyways long story short i am writing earlier than normal i don't really know how well this is gonna go because i usually write better in the evenings we'll see uh i'm just gonna write and do my best i'm probably only gonna do one chapter because there are a couple other things that i wanted to get done before I go to my parents' house, I wanna finalize my grocery list. I'm kind of making like a rough meal plan and then buying groceries based off of that and then also buying extra like necessities, like extra pita bread and things that don't really go bad. I'm not bulk buying because I think that people are being a bit overboard with that, but I'm just making sure that I have a fully stocked kitchen because I tend to run kind of low on things. So anyways, I'm gonna write for a bit. I will check in in a minute. Hello again. I'm iffy about that last writing session, I'll be honest. So I finished going over the chapter that I was working on and I did my rewrites and stuff. There's a big piece of information that's revealed in this chapter that's setting up something that comes much later. And just the way that it was introduced and explained, it just feels clunky and I tried to rework it in this scene and I think the problem is that it's too early to be explaining this. I think that this chapter should have a small seed and then it should be brought up again in a couple chapters and then that will be where the explanation is. It just, something about it isn't working in this chapter. There are a couple big conversations between Jax and Rabla in the next couple chapters that I think I might be able to swap pieces of the conversation so that it kind of flows more naturally or depending on where I put it in, I might have to bulk up this chapter with something else or another scene or something else that they do. I haven't decided yet. So what I did for now is I just highlighted that section in red to remind myself this doesn't belong here. And then as I'm going through the next couple chapters, when I see a good spot for it, I'll finish up that chapter while incorporating this scene and then go backwards. So... It is progress, but it's not visual progress for right now because it's not time for that yet. And I'm the kind of person I have to work chronologically. I've tried working out of order before and it just does not work. It, it just doesn't work in my head and it messes up the flow of the story and you can very easily tell when you're rereading it that it was written out of order. Like it just, I don't know, it's just not how I write. So I can't skip ahead to do that part now. So this part is like, as finished as it can be for right now, which is not very finished. So as far as word count goes, I'm gonna give myself 500 words instead of the full thousand. So that, that seems fair to me. And then I'll give myself the other 500 words when I properly finish up this chapter. So yeah, it was progress. Not as much progress as I was hoping, but I will get to it when I get to it. So that is all for today. I will see you in the next clip. Hello again. Today is Saturday, April 4th, day four of Camp NaNoWriMo. It's actually technically the fifth because it's after midnight. It's about 1.30 in the morning, but shh. If you don't know, today was night one of WrestleMania. That's why I'm all decked out on my wrestling stuff, even though I'm usually decked out on wrestling stuff, but that's okay. Also, that Boneyard match, what did I watch and why did I love it? That was a cinematic masterpiece. It was... <sighs> something. Anyways, this isn't a wrestling vlog, this is a Camp NaNoWriMo writing vlog. So I ended up writing during the pre-show and then at a couple points when they were doing longer recaps because I watch wrestling every week, I don't need the recaps. So I would turn the volume down and then write a little bit and then kind of pay half attention to it and when I saw that the matches were starting up again, turn the volume back up, etc. And I ended up getting to chapter 5, which is perfect, that's where I was really hoping to be. Like I said last time, there was a good chunk that just didn't fit in the chapter it was in, and I am pretty sure I know where I'm putting it, so what I did is I just copied it and pasted it to the very very bottom of my document just so I don't lose it, and then I fixed up that chapter because I found something to put in there that just makes so much more sense, and there was a little bit more world building that I had to do anyways, and I was able to put that chapter up to a more reasonable length. So yeah, it was very successful. I was very happy with it. So overall, week one went really good, I think. I'm really happy with my progress. It wasn't as hard as I was worried it would be about jumping back into my story because I haven't worked on this since like, September.
September, I want to say? I don't remember, but I haven't worked on this specific story in a while, and I was kind of worried that either I wouldn't be able to get back into it as easily, or I would get back into it and realize that it's worse than I remember it being. <laughs> but honestly, I'm really enjoying it. I didn't do a full reread this time, so my last round of revisions, I read the whole thing through, and then I went back and made changes. But this time I'm reading the chapter and then fixing things and then reading the chapter and then fixing things and going from there. Just because I feel like for this round of revisions, that's just going to work better. And honestly, I haven't done that many rounds of revisions overall for writing. So I still want to try a couple different things to see what works best for me. So that's what my game plan is. But there's a lot that I just want to keep reading because I'm enjoying the story. And that's just a really cool feeling. But I think I'm making decent progress. I think I'm off to a really good start. Now, I know that I've mentioned this with my previous Camp NaNoWriMo's and with full NaNoWriMo, but usually like halfway through week two or towards the end of week two, so days like 10 to 15, are when I struggle the most. But I think that if I can keep up this momentum, I think that'll be okay. And if not, we'll deal with it when we get there. So that is all for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please click the like button to let me know and subscribe to stay up to date with the rest of my videos. I post new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And right now they are Camp NaNoWriMo related and Owl's Readathon related. But in May, I'm going back to just regular reading, writing, whatever content. So I hope to see you guys next time. And until then, have a great day. Bye.